Let us now set up the grids for easier and cleaner object placement on schematic sheet. Go to design and select document options. First select the unit system that you want to work with, imperial or metric. Then choose the unit. I would keep it as imperial and DXP default as of now. DXP default unit is equal to 10 mils in Altium Designer. Next, click on the sheet option tab and enter the snap, visible and electrical grid values that you need. If you have selected DXP default as your unit and now you enter 10 here, this means that the grid will be 100 mils. Grids can be quickly modified or toggle between enabled and disabled through keyboard or mouse shortcuts. For example, press G to cycle through the snap grid settings of 1 unit, 5 unit and 10 units. You can also use view menu and then grids submenu for this. Here is a demonstration. Let me just set snap grid as 100 units, visible grid as 100 units and electrical grid as 50 units. Just to show how they are used. You can now see the visible grid with each block of 100 units. Also notice that if we try and place any part on the sheet, we can only place it 100 units apart because of the snap grid setting which is set to 100 units. Now let me set snap grid to 50 units to explain electrical grid. After placing the part, I am changing the value back to 100 units. Now if I want to wire these parts up, I can easily do it for the parts 100 units apart. But what about the one at the center? It is 50 units apart. Notice that we can wire that too because we set the electrical grid to 50 units. So always keep electrical grids smaller than the snap grid so that the pins that might not align with the snap grid can still be wired. Let us see both the methods one by one. To place any part using method 1, just click on the place menu and select part. A dialog box will appear. Now click on choose and another dialog box will show up. Select the library from the libraries list and all the parts in that library will show up below. Select the part you need and press ok. And you can place the selected part anywhere on the schematic sheet. This method is pretty straightforward, but I find method 2 more convenient. This is how it goes. Just click on the library tab, select the library, select the part and click place button.
you can also drag the objects directly on the sheet like this That is all about placing different kind of objects on the schematic sheet. Stay tuned for next part where we will learn about how to wire these parts to construct the logic circuit. Thanks for watching. When placing wires, be careful to use the place and then wire command and not to use line command by mistake. The place wire command is also available from wiring toolbar or the right click menu when you are in schematic document. A wire end must fall on the connection point of an electrical object to be connected to it. Right click or press escape to exit wire placement mode. When placing a wire, press shift plus space bar on the keyboard to cycle through the wire placement modes. There are various placement modes available in Altium Designer. 90 degrees is the default and you can switch to 45 degrees, any angle and auto wire modes as required. The mode specifies how the corner are created when placing wires and the angles at which wire can be placed. Auto wire mode is a special mode that allows you to automatically connect two points on the schematic automatically routing the wire around obstacles. Wires also have automatic junctions feature which automatically inserts a junction point if a wire starts or end on another wire or runs across the pin. The display, junction size and color of auto junctions and manual junctions can be controlled from compiler tab under schematic folder of the preference dialog. Let us now look at how to use these functions. To edit a selected wire by moving a vertex, click on the wire to select it. Position the cursor on the vertex you want to move until the cursor changes to double arrow. Then click and drag the vertex to a new location. To move the entire wire without modifying it, you do not have to select it first, simply click and drag. Place wires can even be extended or added to. Select the wire and position the cursor on the end you want to move until the cursor changes to double arrow. Click on the end point and drag on the look ahead segment to the new location and click to place. You can also use break wire command from the edit menu to break the wire segments into two pieces. This command is also available from the right click menu when the cursor is over a wire. A cutter box displays by default which is placed on the wire to be cut. The section to be cut out is masked as shown. The cutting length is the space between two new segments. Press spacebar to cycle through the three cutting length mode. Snap to segment, snap grid size multiple or fixed length. 
press tab to set the fixed cutting length and any other cutter options. Click to break the wire. Right click or press escape to exit break wire mode. Break wire options can also be set in break wire tab of the schematic folder in the preference dialog. To drag an object, go to edit menu, then to move and click drag. This command enables you to drag any object and all the connections will be dragged together so that the connectivity of the schematic is maintained. The cursor changes to a cross here which you position over the object you want to drag. Then click or press enter. Move the object to the required position and click or press enter to place. Continue moving other objects or right click or press escape to exit the dragging mode. You can actually do it without selecting any commands. Drag is selected by default. Just get your cursor over the object you want to drag. Click and drag it directly. While dragging the objects, there are a couple of features you can use to make things as per your liking. For example, you can press spacebar or shift plus spacebar to change the wiring modes. You can press Ctrl plus spacebar while in movement mode to rotate the object. Rotation is anti-clockwise and in steps of 90 degrees. Press the X or Y keys while in movement mode to flip the object along X or Y axis respectively. Or you can press ALT key while moving to constrain the direction of movement to horizontal or vertical axis depending on the initial direction of the movement. Now to move an object, use the move command in the edit menu. Note that the wires are not moving together with the objects. It gets disconnected and move. While the objects are being moved, you can do a couple of things to make it as per your liking. You can press spacebar to rotate the object. Rotation is anti-clockwise and in steps of 90 degrees. Or you can press shift plus spacebar to rotate the object clockwise. Press the X or Y keys to flip the object along the X or Y axis respectively. You can also hold down the ALT key to constrain the direction of movement to horizontal or vertical axis. To prevent the schematic object from being moved accidentally, you can lock the objects. To do that, go to Tools and select Schematic Preferences. Now in the dialog box that appears, select Graphical Editing in Schematic folder and enable Protect Locked Objects option on the right. Press Apply and then OK buttons. Now select the object you want to lock and press Tab to edit its properties. Under the Graphical section, enable Logged option. Press OK to save the changes. Now the object is locked and won't move with the mouse drag.